collecting the actual pressures, the actual temperature, what's going on. If I lose my air data computer, I have eight things that are going to disappear off of my display. I'm going to lose my indicated airspeed, my altitude, my vertical speed, my true airspeed, my outside air temperature, my mode C, transponder gets the pressure altitude from the air data computer, E6B calculations, like density, altitude, things like that. There's a whole trip statistics page that give you information. And then my last one is I'm going to lose my wind vector. It tells me where my wind's coming from, how fast. So if the air data computer dies, I'm going to see red X's on all of those items. So up on the left side, then it's pedostatic, and then it's Alternate, alternate static. Sorry. The AHARs, really easy. Look at the diagram. What are the three inputs? GPS, magnetometer, ADC. That one's really easy. It's just right there on the diagram. The AHARS, the actual acronym, AHARS, Attitude Heading Reference System, is actually a really good acronym to remember what it also gives you. It gives you attitude, heading, rate of turn information, and skid slip. So AHARS, Attitude Heading, Rate of Turn, Skid Slip. It also, if I lose my AHARs, I will lose my wind vector. Okay, wind vector. Anybody have an E6B with them? All right, you private pilot teachers. What four items would I need to calculate my wind backwards? So on your little wind thing, when your students do their flight plan, they know where they're going. They have to try to figure out how the wind's going to affect them. Well, now I'm already in flight. I know how the wind's affecting me. I want to know where the wind's coming from. So all it does is it works that P6B backwards. Okay. So to do that, I need four pieces of the equation. I need true airspeed and compare it to ground speed. I need my track, and I need to compare it to my heading. That's going to tell me speed and direction of the wind, working it backwards. Well, where do I get my true airspeed from? Air data computer. So if I lose that, I can't do the equation anymore. I'm missing part of the equation. So that's why I lose wind vector on both of them. Heading, well, that comes from the A-hearts. So if I lose that, I can't do the equation. I'm missing part of it. So that's all it is. This right here, I wish I had time to go through one with you. Try that next time you guys go flying. Try working that backwards. After you do it a couple times, it's actually extremely easy. You just whip out the E6B. When I used to teach in the Katanas, I did it all the time. Because my students would start complaining about the wind, and I'd start calculating it up. And I'm like, you got a three-knot wind. What are you complaining about? So really, really easy to do once you get the hang of it. All you're doing is just working backwards and then making your mark based on this information. G1000. If I have to use the essential bus, the essential bus gives me only the necessary items in the event of an alternator failure. How long do I have it? Book says 30 minutes. 30 minutes. If I have a brand new battery. How many of our batteries are brand new? <laughs> Plan on about 15 minutes. Okay, so always go for worst case scenario. Remember, in everything that you guys are doing, whenever you read the POH, that is assuming a brand new aircraft. They have not tested it with a crappy battery that's about to die. Nothing like that. Okay, stopping distances are based on brand new discs and brand new brakes with brand new tires. Well, we don't have any of those, so 
minutes. <laughs> We're going to have different distances, okay? So 30 minutes, plan on 15, though. Then I've got my emergency backup switch that activates only the electronic horizon. How long does that give me? Gives me an hour and a half. That one is an hour and a half because that is a non-rechargeable battery pack that is just there ready for use. It's not going to be diminished. That'll give you the emergency horizon switch gives you the backup electric gyro attitude only. And that would be if basically both your screens are now black because you've lost all energy and you're just trying to keep the shiny side up. At that point, you're really hoping you brought those weather reports so you can find where some VFR weather is because you're hosed. You're not shooting an approach or anything that way. Unless you got a nice, nice handheld radio, right? With a VR receiver on it. <laughs> Go left! So, okay. That's the G1000 in a nutshell. It's really quick. And we made it. Woo! For the marathon. Did everybody get handouts? Anybody come in late and not get one? Okay.